I'm here to talk about a modern D defense line around Amsterdam and innovating it by changing the landscape once more. Today's threats are not so much from outside, but from ourselves. The effects of the world's population moving the cities are clear, more industry, more cars and more pollution. Naturally, Amsterdam and other cities will continue to grow. But we need to defend against these effects, together now and in the future. I believe nature has to hand for. I live and breathe landscape. When I was 12, I had my first job in a greenhouse, in a grower's village called the Quakel, 20 kilometers from here. This was me, almost up to my ears in plants. All my life, I've been fascinated by nature. I've spent the last 40 years developing landscapes that improve the well-being for us all. Seven years ago, I heard El Gore speak at Live Earth. He triggered me. So I began experimenting to see if I could use my knowledge to slow climate change. We all know plants and trees can improve our quality, air quality, and absorb CO2. I wondered, what if they could do it faster? What if they could turn back the effects of pollution, especially alongside busy roads? So I went back to the greenhouse. And we set up the Innovation Motor Project. I and a group of growers selected and tested numerous plants with hairs on their stems. We discovered that hair made the plants very good at capturing particles of pollution from the air. And we finally found the best, Campofuli, honeysuckle. Amsterdam's mayor, Van der Laan, calls it the green junkie because these plants have an addiction. They are addicted to pollution. This species is special because it has hairs on its stem, leaves and flowers. The result is that mass crowd of honeysuckle can make a real impact on the quality of air. Best of all, it grows everywhere, by roads, on balconies, even on the side of buildings. And that's just the beginning. Not only does honeysuckle reduce pollution, it creates resorts. By cutting honeysuckle every five years, the cut plants contain a large amount of biomass. A single hectare results in 12 tons of biomass, which can be converted to big fuel. Once we released the impact honeysuckle could have, we thought about supercharging it. I knew that human hair needs amino to grow. What would happen if we grew honeysuckle in amino as a natural supplement? Together with the Wageningen University, our test found that honeysuckle grows three times faster. The last test was to, was to anticipate the future. We tried seeding the plants at five degrees above the natural Dutch outdoor temperature. This would prepare our green junkie for climate change. The higher temperature programs the plant to bloom longer and richer and they absorb pollution even better, even better. These are plants from the future, and we will use our discoveries to create our defense line for today. The city of Amsterdam is funding a theme park around the whole city, which will follow the stelling from Amsterdam. The teams are green and healthy, and the park will be in the shape of a G, a green corridor with honeysuckle 
and all kinds of other pollution absorbing plants, covering 25,000 hectares of land. In seven years, the park will be finished and will absorb enormous amounts of car fuel pollution. It will result in over 600,000 tons of biomass. That's enough energy to heat every house in Amsterdam, every year. Amsterdam's mission is a safe, healthy and beautiful environment. This park will secure a future-proof landscape for generations to come and will also be a major tourist attraction, a UNESCO treasure. And if we can do it here, we can do it in every other city around the world. We are creating a new kind of defense circle, in a green one, to protect us in the 22nd century and beyond. Amsterdam's Green Corridor will begin at the cemetery near the Amstel River. Where life ends, we will bring new life for the future. Thank you.